going up against each other here this afternoon in Paycom Center. They had a battle last night. Now Little Brother's going to have a battle today. That's what's <laughs> going to happen. Ball goes up. Olivier Saar wins it over Liddell. And an understanding that you've got the tools within the team to turn it around. This three by Keontae. An offensive board, though, by Maldonado. And Keontae hits the baseline jumper. Gives himself a little slap on the thigh. like Good defense just to pinch him there out top. Swing, swing, action. And it's Flagler in the corner for another triple. Three now as a response out top for Shackelford, and that one's good. Five on the game clock. Maldonado's got it out top. Flips to Shackelford. Shackelford pump fakes for three. Hoist it, flashes it. It's good. Rack him up. And the Blue going to break with a one point lead. For action, this is OKC Blue basketball. And the Blue's going to get out and run it again. Oh, what a slip pass down low. McConnell had an angle for a second. Back to the basket, flips up a push shot, and it's good. Strong stop for the Blue there. Now Saar rolls hard downhill and flushes the 2 8 slam. Offensively for OKC on the defensive end, what's been key there? See the replay right there. I'm sorry. As you see, Maldonado slide it to Waters. Trail three. Beautiful look. Didn't go down, but Sars there, his teammate, to clean it up. And look at that turnaround jump shot. 52 remaining in this second quarter. The Blue has blown out this lead to seven in game high. We'll be right back. This is Blue basketball. Be able to identify that in real time to get your shot off in the process is a skill that a lot of people don't really have. Hill attacks. What a miraculous push shot with the left hand. Off class by Malcolm Hill, a veteran bucket from a guy that's been in this league for a while. That'll win him around the horse, I'll tell you that. Shaq goes up top, Saar flushes it down. While he was there, originally from Norfolk, Virginia. And those are his first points of the game, though. And Jang goes up top to Saar, the French connection. Wrestles away the rebound. Pushing it with great tempo in the open floor, and Jang Slams it home on the baseline. That is manufacturing the fast break out of nothing. Another one-handed pass from Jang to Flagler. Right on line. Waters down low. He's able to spin and flip that in. Trying to get that blender going. Hot shot clock. Flagler's going to have to put something up. And he gets a good look out of it, too. That one-handed push shot. Pulled the pass back and it was too late, so he got caught with the carry. Those little things right there have made the difference in what happened in the change in floor of this game. Turnover in response, though. Brockington got to it on that pass on the baseline. Is able to go down and slam it home. 14-point lead for OKC. That one-handed whip pass again from Jang into the corner for Flagler for three. Four made threes. Jang swings it cross court right on line, but... Hey, Usman's right there to clean up the miss by Keontae, and he gets three points out of it potentially anyway. Keontae, give me an assist <laughs> for that. I, I wasn't shooting that. I was passing that. Perfectly, perfectly placed pass to Usman Jang. In the backcourt, eight on the shot clock. Waters has got to hurry. Finds Maldonado. Hot shot clock. Keontae hoists it and drains the three out top. You still like the fact that the Blue are paying, playing with that pace to try to keep in that same rhythm they had early on in the game. Daniels with a deep post up, got his positioning on Flagler, is able to score plus the foul. Blue going to be focused on that transition defense. And another opportunity to get it right is Birmingham running again. Daniels lobs up top to Liddell. And that's six easy points, seven easy points, I should say, out ahead on these runouts. Maybe the Blue's been able to, to calm down a little bit of that rhythm and flow that the, the squadron was in to this point. Hard roll and a finish plus the foul for EJ Liddell and after was as many as 27. And that's what's happened. That's what happens in the game. You start getting that rhythm, you start getting the flow. He's a big time prospect. And so good to see him back out on the floor. Jang turns it over in the backcourt and suddenly you know, Birmingham just continuing to chip away, get closer and closer, just a 13 point. Only six on it now. Flagler's gonna have to do something with it. Hot shot clock, two. Shackelford for three on the sidestep, going right. And he splashes it, what a three. 89-77, we go to break. 
on this big time Jaden Shackelford sidestep three to beat the buzzer. We'll be right back. This is OKC Blue Basketball. He's just in the right spot. Now Waters pulls up and that three got blocked or something because it was way off. Gets it back, tries to go up with it again. No good. KJ Williams this is down low. KJ Williams again. Excuse me, Olivier. Get it again, then you see Olivier. So I missed one. Oh, wait a minute. I missed it. Let me go back and get that again. Going back up, that's just persistent. Sticking with the play. Saar up top. Flips it to Keontae Johnson. Flagler for three on the right wing. He splashes that one home. Waters. Try to find a spot on the left wing. He gets stripped. And so here's a three on one fast break. Sebron goes up and they execute that one to perfection. Always focused on being the more physical team, even if they're not the stronger one. Kick out to Sebron for three. And Jang just put it on the deck right after he grabbed the rebound and, and got it taken from him. Waters, hot shot clock finds Keontae for three. And he knocks it down yet again. The blue coming through at the end of the shot clock. Dyson Daniels is approaching 10 steals in this game. And just had a deflection that went out to OKC, but Adam Flagler hits the triple. Nine and seven at home, one more game here at home against the Texas Legends before the Blue ships off to Delaware to finish off this season. But the Blue gonna come away with a 115-99 victory.